I'm super excited to drive this 1968 Camaro Resto Mod Super Sport. This thing's had the best of everything put into it. Done in a beautiful yellow paint, torque thrust, American Racing rims, great rubber all the way around. It's got the front and rear spoiler, Super Sport emblems. It's got a chromed up 350 built with headers, brand new dual exhaust, power steering, rack and pinion power steering, so it's got a whole new setup under there. Power disc brakes all the way around. It's got the four wheel disc brakes, electric fan, V cool aluminum radiator. It's got some chrome pulleys and such on there, valve covers and air breather. It's got an Eldebrock carburetor, MSD ignition system. This car moves. In my opinion, this was definitely a no expense spared restoration. You gotta really see this car and get behind the wheel to appreciate the quality of the build. As we come across here to the front, bumpers new, grills new, emblems are all new. Everything looks brand new on the front. Headlight surrounds are in great shape, all that looks excellent. Hood gaps are nice on both sides. Nice and even, super sport hood, looks beautiful. New chrome pods, there's no pitting or nothing there. Windshield's in excellent shape. Looks like the chrome around the windshield is replaced as well. As we look out over the roof of the car, no hail damage, no dings or chips or scratches, nothing like that. I mean, this color just really pops. No bubbles or blisters or paint imperfections anywhere I can see on the front fender on the passenger side. The marker light's all brand new as well. Wheel well trim, rocker molding's all new. No bubbles or blisters on the uh, lower door area. That all looks excellent. Check out this door gap. Brand new dual mirrors, all new felts, and they're the good ones. Very good felts and rubbers, all brand new in it. New door handles. In this corner of this door handle we have just, a, I'm gonna point it out, because it's just, well, just a tiny little chip on the chrome in that door handle, but it was a new door handle. All new gaskets. The back of the door lines up beautifully. So really nice gaps on this door. The body line looks nice. Over the wheel, wheel well and in, in front, behind, excellent. No bubbles or blisters. Dual exhaust comes out beautifully back here. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see the undercarriage. We have about 20 pictures of the undercarriage. Uh, it's got a brand new five-speed manual transmission. You'll see all that under there. Motor looks great, exhaust looks brand new on it. Just a, an excellent build in my opinion. Back bumper looks great, the tail light lenses and the chrome around the tail light lenses are all new. Rear spoiler on it. It's got a great stance, it's got brand new uh, four leaf springs in the back. Disc brakes in the rear. The only paint imperfection I've seen anywhere on the car so far is it's got a very, very thin hairline crack in the paint right there, very small. And the same right here, just very, very small. Other than that, passenger side body and paint is excellent. Show quality. Open the doors, rubbers are all new, corner of the door looks great. It's got a really nice Kenwood uh, CD player in it. The dash is painted beautifully. All new kick panels, I mean you name it, it's fantastic. All new uh, billet handles, door handles, window cranks. It's got a brand new digital dash. I mean, gas gauge, volt, oil, water, tack. Everything works. It's got, uh, looks to me like it's either 86 or 860 on the build. I'll have to check that when I go and see if it's the uh, temps or what. Uh, brand new Hurst shifter brand new carpet all show quality in here new boot done very very professionally 
new dash pad, headliner, sail panels. It has uh, pro car seats in them. I'm not usually a big fan of uh, aftermarket seats, but these things wrap around you and feel excellent. Very, very nice. They do recline. Back seat is excellent. It's got the correct GM seat belts in it. That's all new as well. Headliner, super tight and nice. Dome light. Lens is all brand new. Rubbers and felts are all new all throughout the car. Trunk rubber. Uh, if we go in the side of the trunk, it's got a trunk mat. And to get the uh, engine compartment all cleaned up, chromed up like you did, they did put the battery in the trunk. It's got a new interstate in the trunk. If you look up and down both sides, laser straight body. The paint is gorgeous. I don't see a ripple anywhere in the car. The back balance, they did that beautifully connected to the rear quarters. I mean, that's fantastic. No body cracks, no issues anywhere back here. Over the wheel well is excellent. Here in this rear sail panel area is perfect. I don't see any blemishes or blisters or dirt or anything in there. Just really nice and clean. No bubbles or blisters anywhere here on the driver's side as well. So very, very nice paint. mirror I don't see any chips anything on it just a beautiful all-around car Does have the new carpet, it's got the new Fisher uh, scuff plates in it. Retractable seat belts in the front. Tack works on it, emergency brake works. When we got the emergency brake on, even the brake light comes on, or the brake says brake right there on the dash. I don't know if you can read that. comes right off. Heater fan works on it, just as I would presume. That works good. Wipers are two-speed wipers. You need to check out the wiper motor, they work, but um, I don't know if it's one of the uh, arms or something's making just a little bit of noise out there. When they restored the car, they painted the dash beautifully. They put all new chrome bezels as far as the Astro vents, those are brand new as well. Kenwood's CD player works great. But the best part of this whole car is this drivetrain, guys. I mean, the paint's beautiful, the interior's beautiful. But like I said, this five speed transmission, chromed out, powerful 350, four wheel disc brakes, rack and pinion front suspension. That's the stuff that costs a lot of money. This thing sounds great. It works perfectly. Try to do a little better job shifting, holding the uh, camera next time. Shifts very nice and smooth. Second gear, 4,000 RPM, 40 mile an hour. Disc brake stop, perfect. This is a super fast car. I won't be able to get on it too much when shift. But.
This thing's got a ton of torque. A ton of torque. Um, third gear, 3,600 RPM, 56 mile an hour. Kind of gives you an idea where we're at. Fifth, fifth gear in a second. There's fifth gear. So 55 mile an hour at about 17, 1800 RPM. So what a wonderful cruiser, but it's still got tons of power. It's an awesome, awesome car.